Hi everyone, I'm Olga Villaverde. Australia's Prime Minister says the gunman behind the 16-hour hostage standoff had a history of mental instability. Speaking at a press conference, Tony Abbott says the suspect, Monharan Moniz, was well known to authorities and had a long history of violent crime and extremism. Meanwhile, Sydney Australia authorities confirmed that Moniz and two hostages were killed during that long siege at a chocolate shop and cafe. Dealing with this critical incident, our thoughts, and we're particularly turning our minds to looking after these hostages and the families of those that have been caught up in this. And of course, we have uh, we have two that have died as a result of um, actions inside that cafe. And the commissioner says a police officer was also shot in the face during the standoff, but he is in good condition. The standoff ended with an eruption of gunfire after police ran into the downtown cafe. In Pennsylvania, police say six people are dead after a shooting spree there. Authorities have identified the suspect killer as Bradley Stone, and they say Stone had a family relationship with all of the victims. Schools in the region were locked down, and police say they're taking all necessary precautions. President Obama visits U.S. troops at a base in New Jersey to commemorate the end of operations in Afghanistan. This month, after more than 13 years, our combat mission in Afghanistan will be over. This month, America's war in Afghanistan will come to a responsible end. U.S. and NATO troops closed their command post in the country last week. Harry Reid, the Democratic leader in the Senate, warns his colleagues that they may be working weekends. The threat comes as the upper chamber works to confirm 23 of President Obama's political nominations, including a new Surgeon General and Deputy Secretary of State. The U.N. Security Council is working to set a time frame for the creation of a Palestinian state. The Palestinian president will push for a vote this week to set a deadline for ending the so-called Israeli occupation. But before that meeting, Secretary of State John Kerry met with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who told reporters he expects the U.S. to veto any U.N. plan for Palestinian statehood. But as of right now, an official says the proposal does not have enough support and a U.S. veto may not be necessary. Japanese voters may say yes to more Abenomics. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe called snap elections last month after Japan sunk into a recession. Although voter turnout was very low, Abe's policies of government stimulus and lower interest rates still won out. Now he promises to boost wages and pursue deregulation. And the Department of Defense is working on a new bullet that can change direction in midair. The secret program to develop such ammunition is called Exacto, and according to officials, the goal is to revolutionize the accuracy and range of sniper rifles. And that's your Newsmax Now update. Always stay connected right here to Newsmax.com.